the lights come on. The valley's opening act begins in the middle of the dry season near the banks of the Luangwa River. The showground, a grove of ebony trees. The principal characters, a troop of yellow baboons. The first performers, the juvenile comedians that bring the carnival to life. need a ringmaster, a leader who keeps order in the ranks, the troop commander, the biggest, fiercest, dominant male. His high position, a sought-after privilege often challenged by rogue outsiders. In this case, a rival male with serious intentions to depose the leader at any cost. The females of this troop make up the chorus. They engage in the usual activities of baboon society. A definite pecking order exists among them. Rank being a privilege inherited from birth, not gained by strength. They take interest and invest time in the opposite sex. Befriend a male and have a bodyguard for the season. And a mother's club, where membership extends only to females with infants. Two of them produced the troop commander's latest offspring. A black-furred baby, the typical color of newborns. and a white-furred baby, the carrier of a rare gene. The half-brothers, the troop's youngest and most precious possessions, and the heirs of this long lineage of the valley's master survivors. The odd-looking pair attracts much interest. And when the rough handling from their older cousins gets too much to bear, mothers step in. The cast shares the showground with Luangwa's gentle giants as well as some disruptive characters. Several crew members act out useful chores. The Puku and Impala's work behind the scenes makes their presence special. They perform as guards and warn the troop of danger. The troop's most feared enemy makes an appearance. The troop commander stands his ground. Now that the leopard has lost the element of surprise, she doesn't stand a chance of catching breakfast. But all good things come to those with patience and cunning. The guards on the outskirts of the ebony grove sound another alarm. The troop commander's brave act ends as the most powerful of the troop's enemies enters the scene. The Lord of the Land bypasses the grove, pausing only to survey the snitchers that made his presence known. 
any one of them would make a healthy meal. Adam.